already. Here go my top three movie or TV couples that I just couldn't stand. Part one. Let's get it, let's go, man. Number three, Calvin and Miranda from House of Pain. I used to love House of Pain, man. Shout out to Tyler Perry, but I could not stand to see an episode with these two on it at the same time. I used to want to lose my mind. I couldn't eat before I watched the episode with these two because I would literally want to throw up. They had more drama than a BH1 show, and then you know Miss Ella had to come in the middle of it and pray for them because you know the power of prayer. But let me catch y'all up. Calvin cheated on Miranda with the Mexican chick next door. Miranda seen it. She was like, oh, let me go get in them streets. She went on her little date. Calvin found out and Calvin like let me go get back in the streets this time Calvin had a baby so you know it was the end of the world now every episode is I don't know if I can want to be with you Calvin I don't know if we can be together our I, I rent we can't pay our rent shut up because didn't you didn't you rob Uncle Curtis the first season you cleaned his whole bank account out and then it was just drama from there so Miranda was like oh I got to have me a baby since you got a baby I don't know if I can be a stepmom I got to have a baby of my own and then it was a, oh I'm pregnant oh I'm not oh I'm pregnant oh I'm not and then she ended up messing with a dude that came to Calvin house and shot Calvin bro Calvin got shot behind you his daddy got robbed behind you she wasn't to be trusted with in the first place. I couldn't stand them two. Every time I seen an episode, I used to want to punch both of them in the face. Number two, Derwin Ding Dong Davis and Melanie, whatever her name was from the game. I couldn't stand both of them, man. Because first of all, Derwin's hairline used to piss me off every time I saw an episode because he used to always come down to his eyebrows. And then his chin was sharper than a number two pencil. They had too many problems. Derwin was really a church boy who wanted to be a pretty boy, who wanted to be a player, and ended up getting caught up because he knocked down Drew Sador. Once Melanie found out the gloves was off. She was for the streets for real. She was sleeping with the people that he played football with. She slept with, uh, uh she tried to sleep with Malik. Bro, she was just too much to bear. Used to always throw up the fact that she gave up John Hopkins for Derwin. Who was John Hopkins? I didn't even know that was a hospital until I saw this show. I thought John Hopkins was a, a boxer or somebody. They used to make me sick every episode I saw. Number one, Jody and Yvette from Baby Boy. Jody wasn't nothing but a bald head wannabe gangbanger who wasn't really nothing but a glorified mama's boy who rode his low rider all through LA to wherever he had to go I couldn't stand him bro he set us black men back I don't know how many years at this movie bro because y'all remember at the beginning of the movie when he was a grown man being born <laughs> that was one of the funniest scenes I ever saw in my life and he steady talked tough throughout the whole movie you weren't nothing but a mark you got punched through a glass table you got your head licked you got your Alize and your bike stole and Snoop Dogg stole your woman bro he just steady talked tough I want to block on the phone tomorrow I got heat for dudes like you this is my mama house she See, your problem was you wanted your mama to be your woman. But see, that was Melvin's woman. And then Taraji, I love Taraji, but she wasn't nothing but an enabler. Crying and complaining throughout the whole movie. Uh, he don't want me no more. Shut up. But if y'all like this video and y'all don't want me to be through, like, share, and drop a comment for part two.